Now we have learned that an individual in New Jersey tested for coronavirus does not have the virus. That test came back negative. Clay Bryan is in Collingswood tonight with more on preparations going on to protect the young and the old from this illness. Cleve. So right, state officials say still no cases of the coronavirus in New Jersey, but they believe that if the virus arrives here, those in schools and also who care for the elderly will be at the front line of stopping the spread of the virus, as well as caring for those who are most vulnerable. Collingswood Public Schools are reinforcing good hand washing and coughing practices with children, as well as stepping up their sanitation efforts as school districts nationwide prepare for the possible spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. We're just trying to take common, um, you know, kind of common sense precautions at this point. 2019. At the direction of the New Jersey Department of Education, schools are also making sure teachers have homebound instruction plans ready to roll, and they're telling parents to make child care provisions should their children have to miss long periods of school. It is important that families have a backup plan because the backup plan can't be I'm going to send my sick child to school. Children and seniors are most susceptible to respiratory viruses like the flu or COVID-19. So the Spring Hills company, which runs senior living and hospital step down facilities, is not taking any chances. Bleach, lots of bleach. So the, our housekeeping department has been instructed that every single room, every bed rail, every call bell, every TV controller is wiped daily with a bleach wipe. Atrium Post Acute Care in Woodbury is planning a staff training seminar this week to go over best practices for preventing infections and they're screening people at the door to stop viruses from entering their facilities. The building has put into place a coronavirus team to deal with it as we go along. And also, if you have a family member that's in a nursing home or in a post-acute care facility and you are a little bit sick or have any suspicion uh, that you had some sort of exposure to coronavirus, they say now, now is not the time to visit those people. We're live in Collins with Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Cleve.